So here we're going to find the cumulative distribution function of the exponential distribution. Now the way to find that is to first of all use the PDF. So that's the probability density function. Now the probability density function of the exponential distribution, that is lambda to the exponential of negative lambda x. That's our PDF. And that's given us f of x given lambda. So that's the parameter of the exponential distribution. Now, lambda is always greater than zero. That's one thing we know about the exponential distribution. And x is also greater than zero. So there's no values of x which are zero or less. So that's what we've got so far for the exponential distribution. Now we want to find the CDF. Now the CDF, the cumulative distribution function. So the CDF, this is found by integrating from negative infinity to infinity our PDF, which is this function here, f of x given lambda with regards to x. That's how we do that. Now, x is always greater than zero. So from negative infinity to zero, the integral will be zero anyway. So we could just change that up a little bit to suit this function. So then we would have from zero to infinity, f of x given lambda dx. Okay, now the way to integrate this to get our CDF is what we do now, we just introduce a dummy variable. In this case, I'm gonna use t. So what we do is now, wherever there's an x, we substitute for t. So if I start off by putting the PDF in here, so I've got zero to infinity of lambda, the exponential to the negative lambda x dx. What we do is now we substitute t or x for a dummy variable. And then instead of having infinity here, because no x can go to infinity, we just put x as our upper parameter for our, for our uh, parameter of integration. So now we go from 0 to x, lambda, e to the negative, lambda, t, dt. That way then we integrate it over the range, and then we get our x when we do our integration. Now, this function here is pretty straightforward to integrate. We've got lambda, which is not part of t, and we've got negative lambda t in our exponential so what we would get here, if we just integrate straight off, we would get lambda e to the negative lambda t. And then by the reverse chain rule, we would divide by negative lambda. Negative, sorry, negative 1 over lambda. So we would then multiply this by minus 1 over lambda. And then that's over 0 to x. OK, now just simplifying this up a little bit, because that looks a little bit ugly, we can just uh, simplify this off a little bit. So this lambda times minus 1 over lambda, that will just cancel out and give us minus 1. So this will cancel out with this and just leave the minus 1. So then we're left with negative exponential to the negative lambda t and then 0 to x. OK, so now let's put this over here, our result. So let's plug in x first. So wherever we see a t, we plug in an x. So then we've got minus e to the minus lambda x. So that's our first bit. And then we subtract when t is 0, which is minus e to the minus lambda 0. So that bit there, minus minus e to the minus lambda zero. Okay, now this bit here, that's fine, that's okay as it is, but this bit here is just basically lambda times zero is zero, and e to the minus zero is the same as e to the zero, so this is just minus one. So e to the zero is one, so we've got minus one here. So that's minus one. And then with the minus here, we're just now left with minus e to the negative lambda x, minus 
minus 1. OK, well, this minus minus 1 is just plus 1. And as we've got a minus sign here, I can bring my 1 out to the front. So that equals 1 minus e to the minus lambda x. And that is my cumulative distribution function for the exponential function. So that is my result using my integration. Okay.